yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to the Georgia Assassin channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Today, I'm going to be making a video on the top five mistakes beginners make when using a climber for deer hunting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you enjoy this video, it really helps me out a lot. All right, so the first thing we got is I'm going to be using a lone wolf climber for this video because that's what I have, that's what I use. Um, I'm going to use it to demonstrate pretty much uh, the mistakes that I know beginners are making. I'm just getting the stand situated so I can show you. Alright, so the number four thing is the wrong tree. The worst thing you can do when you're going in the woods is select the wrong tree. As you see this one's crooked. Um, you're not ever going to be level up there. Uh, don't even attempt to put one on a tree that the base is too big or if it's got a split base. That'll be a complete waste of your time. You're not going to make it anywhere. It's important to get the right size tree. Um, too small is not going to work for you. This is an example of a tree that is too small. So it's important to get out of the woods uh, if you can before the deer season and go ahead and um, identify your trees, clear the limbs and things of that nature. Um, the number three mistake is not putting your safety harness on while your feet are still on the ground. There's no reason to not put your safety harness on on the ground fully. Attach your, um, your safety line to your tree and um, as you ascend, go ahead and just slide it up the tree. It's that simple. Be safe. Don't be stupid. Uh, that is the number three mistake. The second mistake is not carrying a handsaw. Whenever you're planning on using your climber, it is important to keep a handsaw in your pocket. Take it out of your pack, go ahead and put it in your pocket. This one I bought from Sportsman Guide years ago. I used it to open the chest cavity on deer when I got them. Um, it's very handy. I use it for any time I have a climber, it's in my back pocket. So here's an example of a tree that you would not want to climb that's gonna cause you a tremendous amount of work with your handsaw. As you can see, there's all kind of sprigs coming off this tree that are going to affect your ability to climb. There's other saplings that are really close that are kind of interfering with your ability to climb. So don't choose a tree like this. Even though it looks like it's a good one, um, don't choose this one. So again, if you can go out during the daylight, I would. This is an example of a perfect tree. It's about a 60 foot tall tree. It doesn't have any limbs, so no trim work. And look at it. It's perfect. It's the right size. You're good to go. That's what you're looking for. Prime example. All right, so the number one thing that beginners do wrong when trying to use a climbing tree stand. Here I am attaching my lone wolf to this perfect tree is that they do not get the right placement for the bottom platform. Now, if you start with your bottom of your climber like this, you're in a bad spot. You might go three, five, ten foot up the tree before it's going to be like you're sitting on the edge of a cliff. This is the wrong thing to do, and this has gotten wrong so much. Next up is going to be an example of another wrong way to set your climber up. You do not want your lower platform downward. That's going to get you about three foot up the tree. Because keep in mind, as, as the tree gets taller, as you go higher, the tree is going to narrow. And therefore, uh, you're not going to be able to stand comfortably to make a shot with a bow or anything else for that matter. So don't do this. This is an example of what your climber should look like when you first set it up on a tree. You want to give an upward angle. Now this is going to be trial and error, but you never want it level. You never want it going, you know, to the ground. This is what you want it to look like, you know, and this angle is going to ultimately depict how high you can go. If you want to go 20 feet, uh, you may have a little tilt upward, you may have a little tilt downward depending on the tree you pick. This is just something that you're going to have to work on uh, as you progress as a hunter and as you use your climber more and more. Uh, this is going to be more, you know, it's going to be make more sense to you, but this is ultimately what you're looking for. If it's your first time going, that's what you want. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. That's, that's the climber put back together. The Lone Wolf, I would highly recommend it. It's light. It's only about 11, 12 pounds. It packs up really nice. 
you can put it on your back and carry it in anywhere. I got it uh, specifically for hunting WMAs, uh, and it does an awesome job of it. It's not going to wear you out like a big bulky uh, Summit Viper or other thing, you know, other ones that are out there that are just huge, weigh 35, 45 pounds. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. You don't want to miss any more of my videos. Um, I'm going to keep bringing them to you. I'm going to do a, a several videos in this um, beginner mistakes. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. We'll keep it going. Thanks again for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next